afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, earlier, just earlier today, a Delaware County family that I know personally held a funeral service for their beloved daughter who died suddenly from a suspected uh, drug overdose over the weekend. No family should have to face the pain of losing someone to heroin or other opiate drug abuse. It is tragic, it is senseless, and we all have to stand here together to fight the war on drugs. Before I continue, I'd like to introduce some of the council, my fellow council members and our executive director who are with me here today because we are all dedicated to this effort. I have John McLean and Dave White and Mary Ann Grace, our executive director. We are here today to offer one tool, one piece of the solution to prevent the loss of life. We are advocating the ability of our law enforcement officers to be able to administer the life-saving drug, Narcan. These are the men and women on the front line. These are the men and women who are often at the scene, first at the scene of a life-threatening emergency. You've heard earlier District Attorney Whalen citing the uh, statistics on heroin deaths in Delaware County. And we're standing here in front of the medical examiner's office where these bodies come for an autopsy. We're not here to make it dramatic. This setting wasn't chosen to scare anybody. This, this, we're here because this is the reality of heroin use. We don't want to see any more of our residents end up here after an overdose. Many people in the medical community and in the emergency response community believe that Narcan saves lives. I believe that if we save one life, it is worth our effort here today. You heard Jack Whale and our district attorney talk about how closely we work on the heroin task force, how we go around at night and talk to schools and make parents aware of your child doesn't become a heroin addict because he decides to do it tomorrow night on a Friday night. He, it starts with the abuse of prescription drugs. That's why we put these uh, drop boxes in the police departments to make sure that dangerous drugs are put where they need to be and they're not left in people's medical medicine cabinets to be taken by their children, their neighbors, or someone going through your house. I want to thank our <coughs> District Attorney Whalen for his efforts to get Narcan in the hands of law enforcement. I want to thank all the police officers and medical personnel that are here today for their support. And I'm also very privileged to be, to be joined here today by State, Repre <coughs> State Representative Joe Hackett who Jack told you earlier is working to get this legislation passed in Harrisburg. While I don't want to uh, see anyone become a heroin or drug addict, I do welcome the day that we celebrate the news that an overdose victim was resuscitated, was brought back to life by the use of Narcan. Then they can have a second chance at life, and maybe they'll get off dangerous drugs and start a new life. With that, I'd like to, uh, again, I'd like to, on behalf of all of us at County Council, I'd like to thank everyone for being here for this very important announcement.